Assalamu alaikum sisters. So today is inshallah the first live of um, a weekly live um, and I actually was just gonna come live and give you some updates but then um, I got some questions and I thought that why not just come live and um, just show you what <clears throat> while I'm getting ready and I'm putting some of my like makeup because um, one of the questions that I had um, was is um, if all my products are 100% halal and the answer is 100% yes so I do all of my products from the lipsticks um, to the foundations to the concealers I handcraft everything um, um, I handcraft everything myself I develop all of my formulas and everything is 100% halal and not only that but it's also wudu friendly um, and what that means is that if you are going to pray, then you don't have to take your makeup off because nothing is waterproof and nothing creates a layer on your skin. So you don't have to be worried worried about the water reaching your skin. So speaking of that, I'm going to just start and put um, some of my lipsticks. And this is my palette that I use all the time. And this is the uh, Subtle and Dramatic. Yeah, Subtle and Dramatic. And then there's the Earthy and Warm. But in the Subtle and Dramatic, there is Blossom, which is like a really good everyday color. Even though by now my brush has like a mix of a few of the colors and, you know, it's like Blossom mixed with a little bit of Plum. Because I love like mixing a dark color and a light color. Especially with modest makeup, it's kind of hard to get the right color using only one. Because if you know, your, if you see your lips, even your lips are not one color, right? So they are like a lighter shade and a darker shade so just going to apply that if you have any questions do leave them um, while I'm like applying this lipstick and I'm just applying a little bit and for some reason the life is very um, dark so I cannot really see myself um, so yes everything is halal and is also wudu friendly and it is also all natural so that is the other um, thing that I had I make sure that everything is good for your skin so that you know if you are suffering from skin issues then you don't have to worry about your makeup actually making it worse and I'm just putting a little bit of plum which is this color on the edges like that and let me just check Yes, so Plum and Blossom Blossom is um, the two shades that I use. So the next question that I had was, um, which is the best product to hide my acne scars? And so that is going to depend on a few things. Now, if you have like followed me here for a while, you have realized that I had the concealers and then I didn't have them for a while. <laughs> And then now I'm going to bring them back now what happens with the concealers is that they require a lot of testing because as I said you know you have to make it all natural and it has to be good for your skin um, but also they have to be able to cover so um, the concealers are coming back in January inshallah and you know it's just a lot of testing and I wanted to like kind of show you so there is like this is one of like the first um, tests that I had and you know everything has to be just right um, it has to cover and it has to be voodoo friendly so I I formulated without any waxes um, and it also has to be um, voodoo friendly and halal of course now th just like a sneak peek the concealer is gonna come in this jar now this um, jar is stackable so you are going to be able this is the cream blush that I'm also testing but you're going to be able to like get your concealer and then you're going to be able to like stack it one on top of the other um, and um, this was actually after a lot of time um, trying to research the best um, container to put the concealers in I was if you have followed me you know that I had this um, pot um, but you know for concealers you kind of always need to have again like a lighter and a darker shade you have to be able to have like um just a few because sometimes you get lighter in the summer sometimes you get darker um darker in the summer lighter in the winter so um i know that all of us usually have like a, sh a shade that we need to be lighter and then one that needs to be darker so you don't want to end up also with like a lot of jars in your bag 
and I was thinking around about that and the stack of jars are going to be really nice because you're going to be able to have your concealer in the first one and then you can have the cream blush you can have another concealer that is darker um, you know and just kind of have everything in one place so the best product to hide acne marks will probably be the concealer and I'm just going to apply this one um, it might be the concealer and it might be the mineral skin tint so just going to put this in here and <laughs> my brother okay so you can use the concealers to hide the acne scars as well um, but the best thing would be to just really stay on top of your skincare because you know you don't want to also have like really heavy makeup and if you have acne scars that are very dark in color then you're gonna need something heavier if you are on top of your skincare and you are making sure that you're exfoliating then the marks get lighter and lighter eventually like with time and then you will not notice them so much so then you have the concealer and then what I will do my preference right now is I will apply the concealer and then you could apply it like either the concealer first and then the mineral skin tint or you can apply the skin tint and opposite so I'm gonna take my flat brush and speaking of that um, just a little update the angled brush is coming back I'm just gonna give you a little update after I finish with this so the mineral skin tint just going to apply it like so and let me get a mirror so I don't look right so I have a few marks these are actually like molds but you can see that with the skin tint you know you can um, cover oh the camera got blurry okay so let me see on this side you can cover pretty well any acne scars if they are like on the normal side you know if you are not really taking care of your skin and you want something that is going to be like super super full coverage um i don't know about if the skin tint will be the right um fit for you but if you are you know if the acne scars are like kind of normal then you could and i don't know if you light right so let me just put it on my forehead a little bit Now the mineral skin tint is like more watery than normal foundations and that's because it doesn't have any oils or any waxes. And another thing that I wanted to show you is that we were talking about eyebrows, right? And I didn't realize that I was doing this, but the mineral skin tint, wait, did I do this side? The mineral skin tint, if you put it like over your eyebrows, it kind of helps to like cover up the strays a little bit um, which is helpful if you're letting your eyebrows grow and then you know like the hair in the bottom bothers you uh, mine don't bother me anymore even though they are nice and full down there wait let me see if I can because my camera looks blurry so my the strays under my eyebrows don't bother me so much anymore but if they do um, to you then you can apply the skin tint over them and then it kind of lightens them just a little bit while you are wearing your makeup right so best product to um, cover your acne scars back to the question is um, the mineral skin tint and um, the concealers but I think that the mineral skin tint <clears throat> looks um, more natural um, if you want that if you don't mind um, it being a little bit heavier then you can use the concealers and you can use the concealers and then on top of that uh, I'm sorry you can use the skin tint and then on top of that use the concealers and that will be like like really full coverage um, but that will work really good for acne scars okay so um, I also wanted to give you some updates because there are a few things coming back. Speaking of the skin, skin tint, the samples are coming back. So you have the full size 
and then you have the samples now I would love um, I might send the samples for free in the near future but not for now it's just like some sisters really like to sample a lot of different kinds so I have them for sale so you can order them before you order the full size just to see how you like the texture how you like the colors um, and also don't forget that I have a foundation quiz finder on the website um, so you can do that if you want to find the right shade um, also the mask the clay mask jars are coming back um, this is like the masks but in the little apothecary jar that has the spoon which I love so you have oh, so you have like you know you have it ready to go and if you have seen um, a few of my videos you see how I sometimes mix the clay masks right on the palm of my hand and then it's like super quick and super easy um, to mix up um, the other thing that is coming back as I said is the angle brush and that is what I use um, for eyebrows with the eye and brow pot so speaking of that I'm just going to use the dark brown to just fill my eyebrows really quick and again if you have any more questions then like leave them here um, I'm going to try to make these lives really short just with like what's happening this week and um, answering your questions so I use the eye and brow pot just to fill in the shape that is already on my eyebrows right so I'm not like changing anything or doing anything different than what my eyebrows already are so you can see yeah you can see the difference I apply it really lightly um, you can certainly do more like apply it more or apply the darker color or the lighter one but that is really all I do okay so that's the eye and brow pot and the angled brush which just um, came back on the website and the last thing that came on the website is the mineral pigments now the mineral pigments um, actually um, to be completely honest I don't use them so much but I did them because I had a request from a sister that loved using um, coal on, on her eyes but um, she learned that there is a lot of lead in coal um, in a traditional one and she just asked me if I had something that was like powder and that was very pigmented and that she could use for um, her eyeliner and I didn't at the moment but then I did get to work and I managed to make the mineral pigments and that is what they are so the jar when you open it it has like extra security so it's not like a whole mess so it has a little thing here that opens up and then what you can do is you can put a little bit of the powder here just like a super tiny bit and then that you can pick it up with your brush whatever brush you want and you can apply it wet or you can apply it dry and then it is you can use it many different ways you can use it like um, an eyeliner you can use it like an eyeshadow and yeah that is really what it is and it's made with all natural um, ingredients it's like colored with the iron oxides um, just as a safer alternative to um, coal and um, one more I think I had two more questions um, this question um, where do you ship so I ship um, pretty much and no, not pretty much everywhere I shipped internationally but in like not everywhere um, you can message me after that and then you can ask me like what country specifically but most of the time I ship to Malaysia and Singapore and Canada and the UK and uh, Netherlands and New Zealand Australia did I say that um, Australia UK yeah I ship to these countries and then I haven't been able to ship um, anywhere in Africa or anywhere in um, like Dubai or United Arab Emirate, Emirates um, without using DHL Express so I have DHL Express but it's super expensive and I could ship with that option like a lot of places but um, you know I just think it's so costly and I like to um, I usually ship with USPS first class and that is what I use for most of my shipments um, so for USPS first class which is like the regular international shipping um, all the countries that I mentioned like Canada Singapore Malaysia um, Australia and like Switzerland also 
so yeah you can like send me a message um, the last one is um, what lipstick did I end up going with so the lipsticks are coming back also in January inshallah and um, I think I didn't even apply my eyeliner so that's gonna stay for another day um, so the lipsticks are coming back and what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be choosing like one color for um, like the spring and the summer and the, win you know, the winter and the fall and then I'm going to choose the other color for the spring and the summer because I just really love them both and if you don't know what I'm talking about um, I don't have them here if you don't know what I'm talking about I did a poll um, asking you which lipstick you like the most it was either a, a black case or a pink case and you know in the beginning everybody liked the pink and then the moment the lipstick came in then it was like 50 50 so um, yeah uh, you're gonna see that uh, all the pictures um, coming really soon and um, that was the update so new products are back in stock and I answer all of your questions and yeah I didn't sip my coffee or I didn't finish it but I am trying to I'm going to be coming live every Monday um, around this time just to give you like an update of what's happening because I'm always like restocking and redoing and like working on new stuff and sometimes it's hard to like let you guys in on everything that's happening so I think that <clears throat> weekly lives are a good thing to do so thank you for those who showed up and i will see you guys on the next one and if you had any more questions that i didn't answer then um send me a message or you know like i'm gonna be doing this again inshallah okay assalamualaikum all right how do i end this day